actually the uh, certified pet care expert. Yeah, and uh, Rachel here is actually the Meritus Master Pet Studies. Okay. Uh, we are actually here in Groomers Correction Academy, and uh, we are here to give you some pet grooming tips. The first tip that we're going to give is actually on brushing. Uh, it's actually recommended to brush a dog every day. If not, then try to brush it at least once a week. Yeah, all right. We have our lovely poodle here. His name is Pudding. For him, we are using a sticker brush. The use of a sticker brush is actually very important if your dog is actually knotted or bended. With this, you can actually clear the mess and knots. Yeah, but it's very, very important that you actually gauge the uh, the strength of the brush. Then short stroke. You don't need to be a long stroke. The next tool that we're going to introduce now is paint brush. Yeah, it's actually very good for uh, long hair for the dog. Yeah, but make sure your dog is not bended. Uh, usually for long for the dog, we actually start from the tip to the inside and from the inside to the outside. Yeah. So we just continue doing it. The next brush that we're going to introduce to you is a rubber brush. Yeah. A rubber brush is actually very good for short coated dogs and cats. Yeah. It actually helps to remove whatever uh, hair which is on the body. Yeah. And another tool that we use here is actually a de shedding tool. Yeah. All right. If your dog or cat sheds a lot in the home, this is a tool that you got to get. Next tip is on the ears. Yeah. Please regularly check your dog or cat's ears. Yeah. Uh, a very healthy uh, dog or cat's ear kennel and the flap should be pinkish in colour. Anything that's brownish or actually have a foul odour, yeah, please, please bring it to the professional stylist or your vet. Get a ear solution yeah, and um, it's best to do it before bathing time and uh, try to bathe it once a week. Have the cotton wool, yeah, pour some ear solution on it all right, and then open up the uh, ear flap. Okay. Yeah, one, one good tip is that the, uh, the ear cannon is actually L-shaped so don't be afraid to uh, reach all the way in because you will never reach the drums. This will be our third tip on the nails. Yeah. Please check regularly on your dog nails yeah, to see whether they, they curl in and also please pay particular attention to the dew claw yeah, because uh, this is where most of the time we, we will ignore the dew claw is actually the one, two, three, four, and the fifth one. Yeah. Okay. So some dogs or cats has it, some dogs or cats doesn't have it. So just now I mentioned about dew claw. Yeah, this is actually the dew claw. Yeah, all right. So as you can see, the dew claw is actually quite long. Yeah, please do not clip the quick. Yeah, so just clip the nails. Yeah, the quick is actually like our human where we actually have it red in color. Yes, it's the same. Remember, uh, the quick in dogs and cats roll together with the nails. So why to frequently send your dogs or cats for nail clipping. The next tip is actually on the dental care. Yeah, it's very important that actually you brush your dog's teeth every day. You get a dog toothbrush yeah, because they are actually built specifically for them. Okay. All right. The next one is if you're getting a toothpaste, a dog, a dog or cat toothpaste, yeah, get the one with the enzyme base. Yeah. Very important, get the one with the enzyme base. So just brush the teeth, yeah, like how Rachel is doing it now. Yeah, just brush it like how we brush our teeth. Yeah. Okay. So if your dogs uh, don't really like it, you can actually spread it on your hands, or you can even actually spread it on the food. Yeah. Because that's why we actually recommend an enzyme base. Uh, today that we're gonna give is that on tenor gland. Yeah. Tenor gland is actually uh, there's a two glands actually behind inside internally in the backside. Yeah. What these two glands does is actually it stops from sound of poo from coming up. Yeah. Sometimes people will say that uh, you know my dogs always drag the backside after they poo and they clean themselves up. No. These are actually anagram infection. Or if your dog will chase the tail, these are also anagram infection. If you see any of this sign, yeah, uh, please do bring it to the pet studies or the vet. Yeah. If not, they will get infection and they will start to bite and they may even get fever out of it. So that concludes our tips for, uh, for today. Yeah. Um, for any more challenging tips, or what you can actually kind of look for us at Groomers Connection Academy. Yeah, me, author. Thank you very much. <laughs>